Thank you. It happened so fast, but left behind some serious damage. A soccer field now will cost thousands of dollars just to fix after those flash floods in Pleasant Hill. And now new at 10 is 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez learned this wasn't the first time this happened, right Andres? Rhiannon, they finally fixed the fence about a week ago, just in time for the new season here. Tonight, though, they are back to square one. Getting around Pleasant Hill during this morning storm proved easier for these deer than it did for those who live here. Couldn't get across, so I had to detour south of town uh, about eight miles to get in. Once in town, Baldwin Lake rose past its bank, sending water onto Country Club Road, washing logs and debris onto the Pleasant Hill Soccer Complex. I've been sick to my stomach all day. You can't blame him. It's the third time within a year that Don Donovan has dealt with this mess. The worst part about it was last, last year was that you know, we took care of it, and then two days after we took care of it, it happened again. We toured the damage with him. It almost looks like somebody just ransacked the, the place. The force of the rushing water scattered benches across the complex. This goalpost you see here is supposed to be all the way near the entrance. It's sad for us to see the field that we make memories on with our team and just all be broken. Uh, last last time we were out of practice for a week or so and uh, you know they all missed it and stuff. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do this year. But definitely something's got to be done different. Yeah, fence just isn't cutting it anymore. Well, city leaders tonight discussed a project underway to improve the road next to the soccer fields. It doesn't include a permanent fix for the flooding problem. In the short term, the community here is stepping up to help Donovan once again. The, the amount of rain and, and hail, all that is completely out of our control. What is in our control is how we we band together and how we fix and and work together on the situation afterwards. Donovan tells me that because of the upcoming holiday, there are no scheduled games this weekend, so they have at least a week to regroup and clean up this mess. Reporting live in Pleasant Hill, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.